Hello everyone, it is Erin Flutter here and I am here filming my September plan with me. I am using my sunflower kit which came out for the subscription a few months ago and will be available the first week of September for digital download. And I am also using these fun coloring sheets from Elise Brianne Designs. Um, her publisher gifted me this book and I <laughs> I was just so excited about it. Um, Elise reached out and asked if I would like one and of course I said yes because I love coloring. So I actually colored these using some alcohol markers which takes forever so um, here's my sped up version. <laughs> and I love using alcohol markers because they blend out really really well but because I do a lot of bullet journaling it doesn't really work out <laughs> very well for bullet journaling so instead I use alcohol markers on these particular coloring sheets and then I just played around with them and uh, did my normal thing which is kind of my theme of 2023 is to have these like scrapbook edges and things like that so I did that on this journal and on this cover page and I particularly chose all of the coloring sheets that had some flowers in them. So yes, this does introduce some more flowers, um, but I wanted to tie it back to my theme, which was some flowers for September because some flowers are of course my favorite flower. So here is the finished cover page with the scrapbook pages. There is also some gold accents from the Archer and Olive Acrylograph in there. And I do bring in some more of that gold throughout my setup. Moving on, we have my trusty calendar. I am very much a visual calendar type of gal, so I do have my physical calendar set up. Um, I have a little sticker up on the top where I can put this month, which you'll see a little bit later. I include my coloring page down in the bottom corner, and then I really could not figure out what to put in this left-hand side, but I did end up choosing um, to track my moods this month. I don't know why. Um, I don't really need to necessarily, but I, I think it's perfectly fine to go ahead and add something new to my setup every once in a while. I was going to put my finances there, but it didn't end up working out. And then I did realize that I don't have anywhere to put my goals. So I'm going, I think I'm going to have to add that to like either the master task list page or my 5k prep page, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, I did mess up this calendar. Luckily, um, it was just, I was missing the last box of the calendar instead of like messing up the numbering or anything like that. Oh my God, I would have lost it if I messed up the numbering, but um, I do, I am missing a, the last Saturday of the month. Sometimes it's hard because most calendars are Sunday start calendars and I do a Monday start calendar. So to kind of translate that into my notebook, I usually use my phone um, because my phone is also a Monday start calendar, but I didn't do that this time. So um, I did end up forgetting that particular box and then I go back and add it, but it's a little funny. And here's me Googling to make sure that I didn't just mess something up somehow and that there is the last Saturday in September. And then of course, bringing in that gold, the gold accent with the sunflowers is just everything for me. And I absolutely loved how this turned out. And I didn't add so much stuff in the negative space that I normally do just because I thought the the coloring pages were like such a nice loud pop on this particular notebook that I didn't really need to add all those little you know circles and stars and stuff like that everywhere I just really wanted the sunflowers to shine It's really funny because this quote, you deserve to take a break, is so much more applicable for me in the month of August because I am taking a little bit of time and um, a break for once. Uh, 
this year. Um, it is my first time in the entire year taking a break, but I thought it would be a nice reminder anyways in September, even though I'll be back from vacation, to take a little breather every once in a while. Make sure you're taking care of yourself because the reason I had to take a break and go on vacation from work and all this kind of stuff and do less videos is because I was so burnt out. So even when you are doing work and business and videos and all this kind of stuff, I do need to be a little bit nicer to myself and take more breaks every once in a while. So I thought that that would be a good reminder, even though I'm not going on vacation in September, um, to take a little break every once in a while. And then I have my normal habit trackers up here on the left hand side. I did um, fix these little mini calendars so that they did include September. Uh, September, Saturday, the last Saturday of the month, because I have forgotten that in the calendar and I also forgot it on my habit trackers as well. And then in the bottom section here, I do have a space for finances. And then I remember that my kit that comes with this subscription has an expenses and an income sticker. So I go ahead and add that in as well. I don't put the habits in, but it's pretty much tracking the same thing. Generally speaking, it's tracking my workouts, all of, you know, me drinking enough water, um, things like that. So more health related items for my habit tracker. Up there on my left, I have my habit tracker as usual. So I usually track um, tasks for work, personal, business, filming, things like that. And then on this right hand side, I do have a 5k prep section. I'm not sure what I'm putting there yet. It's probably going to be like times and, you know, when I accomplish certain things, uh, interval training for 5k, I don't really know yet, <laughs> but I do have a space so that I can dedicate that area to 5k prep. And this is how the entire plan with me turned out. Um, it takes so much less time once you have the coloring pages. It did take me hours to color these pages in though. So that's it and that's my september play with me and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone